back to my channel it's Cass this week we are doing a natural hair video but before we get started if you have not hit the subscribe button yet then please take a moment to do so and also tap the bell as well if you are returning this week thank you so much for coming back this week like I said it before we're doing a natural hair video I'm super excited about it I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my puff using either a knee high a scrunchie or a hair hook those are the only three things that I use and it makes it very very easy for me to do my puff quite quickly so I want to just show you guys those three methods the difference between those three and the purpose of me using those three methods so if you want to see how I do my puff then please just stay tuned so the first method for my puff that I like to do is by using a knee-high stocking I have this black one I've had it for a while it's really stretched out so it's like perfect this is great for the first day if you know you're about to do a puff and you just took down like your braids or your twist or whatever because it's going to actually stretch your hair upwards for you the thing to remember with a knee-high though is that although it's going to snatch your puff it's also going to snatch some edges so I like to go from the front because it normally will snag your edges really good so I start from here and then in the back I don't tie it anymore I actually just cross it over like so so I'm going to just pull it taut and just begin moving it up and then just kind of push it back on your forehead Now the thing about the knee high is it can get your puff really snatched or you can loosen it. So that's what I really like. If you want your puff to be really tight, you can get it that tight, but it will pull at your hair. So it's not the safest bet, but you can also loosen it up and then just remember to hide these. So that's what she's looking like. Method two is for after you have left the knee high in for a couple of hours and it stretched your hair. Like I said, I pineapple my hair every night with a scarf. So my favorite method is to use a scrunchie afterwards. Now you can tell, if you have 4C hair, you can tell my hair has grown because I'm able to <laughs> do this and actually have hair out. So I'm just putting a scrunchie on one time, I'm not wrapping it around twice. And this allows for you to really like manipulate the hair. I'm able to pull it and style it how I want. It just makes it a lot easier and it doesn't feel tense on your hair at all, which is very, very good. So I'm still able to do my puff, but I don't have like that tight feeling. If you hear the jingling, keep the I apologize for the jingle. Kiko's in here and she's jingling all over town. Like, is it Christmas time, Keeks? Because you are jingling and mingling. Oh, you're so cute, baby. Um, so yeah, the scrunchie is one of my favorite methods because I don't actually tighten it on my hair. So I don't feel any tension on the middle of my scalp. With the knee high, you literally feel like your brows are up here and you can feel your edges screaming. So it's only good for the first couple of hours. You don't have to wear for a few hours. With the knee high, you can get away with just like... Oh, I just took my twist down. I know I'm going to wear a puff. I kind of need to stretch my hair upwards. And you can just have the knee high in super tight while you do your makeup. And then take it down and then do the scrunchie method. And that will work. So I really love the scrunchie method because I don't have to commit to the tightness. The last method is the hair hook. I remember when these first came out on YouTube and like people were using them. And then they backtracked because they were like, Oh my goodness, it's ripping out my hair, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, if you have thick, coarse hair like I do and you're trying to get a snatched puff, like you want slick edges, you want your puff to sit super cute at the top, you need something that's going to hold it because honestly, no matter how tight I snatch my hair with my wrist, once I get the scrunchie on there, it loosens up. Even if I like wrap it 600 times, it's never as tight as I want it to be. Like I said, the knee high will get it tight, but it's like a strain on your actual scalp and your edges and everything, so you don't want to leave that on for too long so this is a great alternative so we're going to just take the scrunchie out and I'm going to scoop my hair up don't mind this crusty white spot this is some dry gel guys you guys know the program okay like I'm just leaving my hair like this so right now I have this as tight as I can get it And you want to make sure that you have everything pulled the way that you want it to be. 
And once again, the hook is something that you have to commit to. If you know you want more of a natural puff where you can pull things down and it's not too sleek, you don't want to leave your hair in this for too long because then you'll lose all of the definition down here. So what I'm going to do is just place one of the hooks at the very base of where my hand is. So kind of like where my thumb is right now. And you don't have to wrap this around super tight. I think they do have different lengths. I saw some on um, Amazon the other day that are different lengths. This is like the standard length from the beauty supply store. So right now I have it hooked in. You just have to be careful with taking it out. Of course you don't want to snag your hair. So now just like I'm just wrapping it around. So I basically went full circle as you guys can see and I don't ever like to have the hooks too close to each other because I feel like that's where the snagging comes. So I like them to be on opposite sides. So right now it's right here and right now the other hook is over here. What? Ooh this gel y'all. Okay ignore it please. <laughs> so right now I just have a small cute kind of condensed puff and this is a very cute puff. It basically looks like the little drawstring ponytail puffs that you can get now. It just sits perfectly because the hooks are able to tighten up your hair. So before I close out, I do want to show you guys a few of the products that I just picked up. So the first product I want to show you guys is the reason that I actually went shopping for products to begin with. This is from The Main Choice and it's their Proceed With Caution line. It is the Killer Curls and Brutal Bounce Lift Both Ways Hair and Edge Gel. So this is what it looks like. It's just a huge bottle and it has two gels. It's like a duo as you can see it's split in half so one gel is actually to like do wash and goes and like put into your hair and the other gel is for your edges which is really cool i was watching some youtube videos recently with youtubers with more kinky hair and their wash and goes were coming out so popping with this and i was like do i need her so i went to sally's because that's where i could find it like quickly and it was 15.99 which is pricey for um a hair product so the first thing i picked up from the main choice lines at tj maxx was the main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey and honey endless moisture pearly braid out glaze and this is what this looks like this was 9.99 at tj maxx all of the shea moisture products are 9.99 at tj maxx and they're all 15.99 at sally's so i literally saw this entire line that i'm about to show you at sally's and everything was 15.99 so can you imagine how like upset i would have been if i would have bought anything anyways so this is supposed to be a, like a pearly braid out glaze like i told you before it literally smells like have you ever had that seagram's calypso drink you guys know what i'm talking about the summer fave this is literally what this smells like and looks like <laughs> it smells so good it's super watery like do you see that coming out of there Ooh, okay relax relax um so yeah it's very very watery and kind of like it's like a watery gel kind of so i can already tell i can i'll have to be like light-handed with this but it smells really good and i'm super excited to use it i hope it gives me like high definition hair since my hair is so coarse and my hair get my scalp is always so dry like i really literally feel like i dip my hair in oil and i could still come out and my hair is my scalp is still dry so i love things that give me a tingle like peppermint oil those type of things just make my heart just it just warms my soul that's why i picked this up it's a shampoo like i stated before i can already smell the minty tingle but it's not overwhelming because then it has the guava in it and it smells really good i also really am like excited about this applicator because you can literally just pop it into your scalp and do like that um and then just twist it down so i think one of the most difficult th things for me for wash day is trying to make sure that i'm not getting the shampoo all over my hair and more focused on my scalp so that i don't strip my hair so this nozzle is going to be super awesome this is going to be a bottle that I definitely keep after this is over with and start mixing in oils. You get, you guys get what we're going for. I'm a hoarder. This next one from the same line is the Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Rinse Out or Leave-In Conditioner. It helps to support natural growth and retention. This is her. She's beautiful. Like I stated, all three of these products were $9.99 each, so you literally save $5. I went next door, yeah a save i just love saving i love saving so yeah it's just a typical pop open and it smells just like the braid out glaze just let me know if you guys have any tips about any of these products i will see you guys in the next video i love you so much and i will drop all of the links in the description box down below for the things that i have love you so much bye